r slash and work. Raffia workbase says. He just keeps digging. Included photo. United Lab 6476 says. He was enjoying the cruelty of publicly roasting a workers, because for Musk, the cruelty is the point. Gvulse says. I love how Tesla stock nose dives every time this moron opens his mouth. He's going to get ousted. Shareholders are not going to put up with losing money, because a CEO can't stop acting like a 12 year old on social media. Natera Shianbut 2020 says. I don't see how he's lasted this long. Simply being CEO of three companies should give shareholders pause. Like, bro you're tweeting your Twitter meeting at 1am which means you're not focusing on your other two businesses at all. Zist Threenses says. Focusing on the businesses? He doesn't have to do anything. CEO literally means you make money by having the title. It's not a job, his only responsibility is to exist and funnel money. He's just an idiot so instead of just enjoying being rich and beloved, before he started openly showing how awful he was, he strokes his ego and damages his companies for fun. When you're that rich you can afford to just shit the bed every day, and you'll still always win. SA Traditional says. Not Trumpian levels of flagrant stupidity, but it would be sweet for the worker to cash out on a $100 million severance while publicly humiliating your boss. Jamin C.I. says. That's just what has owed from the sale of his company. That doesn't even take into account the slam dunk lawsuit. Schwagin says. Please let there be some real consequences. The real Mr. Truex says. We all know nothing is going to happen to him, he knows nothing is going to happen to him, why are we acting like it will? Just a random guy 92 says. I laughed harder than I should have. OK underscore salad 999 says. The irony of Ellen accusing this dude of not working and spending a lot of time tweeting made me laugh. Dude literally has zero self awareness. r slash and t work unity of 311 says i saw this on fasa book and while it's for a child it still has weight included photo genesis says ugh school absence tracking is ridiculous doctor's note get frigged i get to tell you why my child stays home they're my children, not yours. School's doing that primes kids, to be mindless corporate drones. IHC Wugvxu says. When I was in high school they gave me Saturday school as a punishment for truancy, and I told them, if I don't show up on the days I'm supposed to then why would I show up on, frick, I'm Saturday. They gave in school suspension instead, and had me sit in a trailer classroom doing literally nothing all day on a regular school day. I sure learned my lesson. This was around 2005 to 2006. Eric Tuba Sox says. They are just training you early on to be a capitalist serf, who must beg their overseer for a pardon from servitude, I mean work. Watershed 787 says. Just a few weeks before COVID hit. Zartanio says. I was a long term nurse. Had a mom bring kid in one day, did the work up, got the discharge together. I asked mom if she'd like me to have the doctor add a note for school. Her response was, no, I don't need one. I said, oh okay, it's a pretty common request, so just wanted to make sure. I'll never forget mom looks at me, and says, yeah, they know better than to ask me to produce a note. I have a feeling someone only made that mistake once. I swear I used to be smart says. Not on topic, but this guy's handwriting, is absolutely the handwriting of someone who can draw. Liftaka says. It's so beautiful. Nitazine King says. This is basically what I tell my jobs. 
If you wanna give me health insurance that covers my doctor's visits 100%, I'll go to the doctor. Until then, I'm an adult and I know when I'm sick enough to miss work. I'm not going to the doctor for anything less than life-threatening. I never asked for permission to go to the bathroom in school either. I just got up and went, frick. Asking permission for something like that. R slash and work. United Lab 6476 says. This is why you form a union. Included photo. Loose Pooper says. It's called collective bargaining for a reason. Ben Talmadge 1775 says. So why did a union in New York City fight this hard for workers? The Whitney Museum employs over 300 people. And the UAW, union representing Whitney, also represents MFA, Bronx Museum of Art, Guggenheim and others. Bottom line there are many members in a small geographic region, and New York is a closed shop state. Bottom line this represents a top end win for unionizing. That win had the benefit of geography, state laws, and several other similar businesses represented by the same union. Without those factors, your mileage may vary. Ensure you have the full context factored into your efforts. R slash and work. Alerikov says. This is nuts. Included photo. Kassarala Beam says. But remember, inflation is caused by greedy workers demanding a livable wage, and has nothing to do with 40 years of reaganomics, deregulation, and corporate mergers. Carry on, consumers. OK underscore present underscore 6508 says. I was looking, just for giggles how much the $400 studio apartment was being rented for these days, I lived there in the early 2000s. It is now $1,500 for something that isn't really that special. Macablu says. I was just talking about this. At 19, in 1997, I had a beautiful two-bedroom loft apartment in a brand new building. It was a cute downtown area, had a gym, a pool and courtyard. I worked as a floor manager at Sam Goody and waitressed occasionally at my friend's diner. I lived alone and could afford rent which was around 750 a month. Now. In 2023. That same apart is almost 3k a month. I have a solid career and a decent salary at what should be a living wage in my state, and cannot afford any apartment let alone that same one I had 25 years ago nothing about that area has changed either. Jad3s1 and says. Yay, it's not surprising. I'm a telecommunications engineering project manager. I would need to over double my wage to about $70 slash a charter by a townhouse with no yard in my hometown. I bought my first home at age 21, lost it during a divorce, and now at the age of 36 I'm realizing I'll probably never own another home in my lifetime, unless I find me a sugar mama of course. Now Sibato the world says. Well if it was in a nice spot with a nice view people probably offered more money, so they could live there, and it spiraled from there. R slash and work. Boopa Dupido says. Gave notice yesterday, now fear backpedaling, and I'm not sure what to do. Reach the limit with a coworker who asks me to help, then gives me the tasks they need help with when it's already overdue and the customer is pissed. Has happened multiple times. Have talked to coworker directly. Doesn't stop. Told boss that I will not be helping coworker anymore, because I'm done being put in that position. Unfortunately, Kawaka minimized the situation, boss believed it. Told me to continue assisting. I said thank you, I'm out. Now boss is saying, oh wait, Kawaka can do their own work, and do I want to stay now? Told boss I'd think about it overnight, and give my answer today. Need outside perspectives. Feel like I'm screwed either way. 
spouse makes 10x what I do, so immediate financials not a big concern. Took this job to help fill in what retirement funds lost over the last few years. It's nice extra cash but no pressure. Xmrillo says. Quit. Mortapod Blue says. If there's no immediate financial pressure, I say quit. If your boss is okay with the other employee or floating their work to someone else, then your boss can be that someone else. White Sweeter 93 says. Leave. It will continue to happen. This sounds like any other toxic relationship you put your foot down and now everything will be okay. Finances are not a concern, leave. No reason to deal with that. Dew underscore instant 5078 says. Say you want at least 20% raise or more. Continue to apply to other jobs and leave one you secure a better position. Frogsk says. You don't need the money, so demand a 20% raise in writing. Either they cave, and it's worth going back, or they don't and you know you've made the right decision. Mankeepus says. Go back, see what's changed. You can always quit next week slash month, if things stay the same. Xmrillo says. Tons of jobs around, if you're not happy ya gotta go, especially if you won't lose your highs, or car because of missed payments. Dom Cabe says. Test the waters by asking for a raise. They need you to stay, what's it worth to them? You don't need the work anyways, so you could use it as an opportunity to benefit somehow. Ask for a new contract. And if they refuse, you still have your options, to go back or to leave. Good luck either way. Eric 0 xff 0 says. Had a coworker like that. Ignores customers until they are annoyed slash angry, and then escalated to my team. At the very end of the day slash early evening. And them of course it is urgent after weeks of delay. And annoyed customers give poor feedback, even if you help them promptly this pattern is unlikely to change. The cow orca is incompetent and won't change. That's all for this video. Was it good? I know not for I'm a robot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. This video is the product of an automated process.